ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on KJ. Gabi Concepcion, the attorney, not the artist. That's right. Ako naman po si Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Muli namin kayong iniimbitahan for another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Kaya naman, samahan niyo po kami until the final week of competition dahil may mga tatanghali na naman tayong panibagong K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na to. Yin is a budding film and theater scriptwriter and a freshman student from UP Diliman. He is a fan of the anime One Piece and K-pop groups. Taga PUP naman si Jerome, a multi-talented individual with a passion for dance kaya marami na siyang sinalihang dance competitions. Nick, on the other hand, is a student of the National University in Fairview studying Bachelor of Arts in Communication. K-drama fan din siya and she also paints and listens to music. Last but not least, Rain is a financial management student of the National University in Manila. Her hobbies are watching anime, cooking, and biking. Of course, these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, good luck as we go into our first round. Get ready to buzz in, hopefully with correct answers, which are worth 10 points each. Let's begin. Welcome to round number one. Question number one. In what country can you find the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park? Jerome. Japan. Japan is correct. K-check. Question number two. By what acronym is pagkakaisa ng mga samahan ng super at operator nationwide better known as? Yen? Uh, pistol. Pistol with L is mali. Anyone would like to steal? The correct answer is pistol with an N. The Ninoy Aquino International Airport is located in Pasay and what other city? Nick. Paranaque. Paranaque is correct. Key check. Question number four. When talking of time zones, what does the G in GMT mean? Okay, no one got the correct answer. The answer is Greenwich. Number five. In mathematics, what is the length of the side of a square whose area is 900 square meters? No one got the correct answer. The answer is 30 meters. Question number six. Which rich and populous district in South Korea has a name which means south of the river? Jerome. Seoul. Seoul is Malay. Nick. Gangnam. Gangnam is correct. Take check. Number seven. Which 1976 dance tune is ABBA's only number one song in the Billboard charts? One got the correct answer. The answer is Dancing Queen. Sumasayaw na yung mga kasama natin dito. Yung panakawa, Dancing Queen. Narinig nyo naman yun. Okay. Alright. Question number eight. What is the name of the character played by Halle Bailey play in the 2023 musical fantasy film The Little Mermaid? 
Rain. Ariel. Ariel is correct, teacher. Question number nine. Nippon is the native name of which Asian country? No one got the correct answer. The answer is Japan. What is the name of the belt-shaped region of the sky along the ecliptic divided into 12 signs or constellations? No one got the correct answer. The answer is Zodiac. Which literary term for a main character who has some faults in the title of a 2022 Taylor Swift hit song. Walang Swifty sa inyo. Okay. The answer is anti-hero. So nobody got the correct answer. Last question for this round. Number 12. In what province can you find the active volcanoes Iriga and Isaro? Rain. Bicol po. That's wrong. Legaspi. Legaspi is Malik. Nobody got the correct answer? The answer is Camarines Sur. Okay, so that ends our first round. Maraming maraming salamat, Jules. After that round, we have Nick in the lead with 20 points, followed by Jerome and Rain with 10 points each, and last but not least, Yin. Okay, so para makahinga-hinga muna tayo, no? yung mga contestants sa ating, kausapin muna natin sila. Kaya unahin natin si Nick, pareho kayong K-drama fans ni Yin. Nakikinig ka rin ba sa K-pop like him? Sino ba yung mga bias nyo dito? Uh, for me, uh, 17, which is si Bias ko is a Wonu. Uh, isa siya sa mga members. Um, ako po is um, Jenny po from Blackpink. Black Jenny from Blackpink. Black siya yung ano, recently nasa Buckingham Palace. Wow. Updated. Oh. <laughs> well, naramdaman natin yung kilig at joy nila kapag K-pop and K-drama ang pinag-uusapan. Pero kailangan pa rin natin balikan ang ating competition at ang round 2 susunod dito sa K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Recap muna tayo ng points, attorney. So, una, nangunguna pa rin si Nick with 20 points. Tayo naman si Jerome at Rain with 10 points. At panghuli naman si Yen. Well, ngayon naman may tatanong si Prof. Glessie kay Jerome. Ano ang pag-ibig para sa iyo? Para sa akin, ang pag-ibig is um, ito po yung ano, dapat consistent ako sa isang relasyon at dapat ano po, ang um, Alam mo po yung limits pagdating sa love, which is kailangan niyo po yun din. Uh, kailangan niyo po yun kasi kayo lang din po yung magsasama sa, ano po, sa relasyon niyo po yun. Parang may hugot si Jerome. <laughs> so serious. Nagulat tayong lahat sa tanong. Oo. <laughs> Maraming salamat, Jerome. Okay, so and now it's time for round two. Contestants, get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. What country won the 2023 Basketball World Cup after defeating Serbia in the finals? Rain. Philippines. Male. Nick. China. Male. Jerome. Vietnam. Male. Correct answer is Germany. Question number two. What standard unit of electric charge is named after a French physicist? The correct answer is Coulomb. Question number three. 
Who wrote the novel? To Kill a Mockingbird. The correct answer is Harper Lee. Question number four. Twiddledee and Twiddledum appeared in what 1951 Disney animated movie? Sabi nila, 1951, di pa kami pinapanganak nun. The correct answer is Alice in Wonderland. Question number five. Which predominantly Roman Catholic country is one of the smallest nations in Southeast Asia? The correct answer is East Timor. Question number six. Which term, taken from a word meaning a very large amount of destruction, especially by heat, refers to the genocide of Jews in Europe during World War II? The correct answer is the Holocaust. Question number seven. Muharram is the first month of what calendar? Jerome. March. Mali. Muharram is the first month of the Islamic or Muslim calendar. Question number eight. In what country were more than 2,000 rockets fired over 20 communities on October 7, 2023? Rain. Palestine po. Mali. The correct answer is Israel. Number nine. In mental math, what is the value of x if 3x minus 2 is equal to 13? Correct answer is 5. Question number 10. Pedro Sanchez was appointed to a third term as Prime Minister last November in which European country? Yin. England. Wrong. The correct answer is Spain. Which Filipino poet who became a national artist of the Philippines in 1973 had the nickname the Veglion and became famous for the Emperor's new sonnet? The correct answer is Jose Garcia Villa. Question number 12, in 1976, Ronald Wayne, Steve Jobs, and Steve Wozniak founded a company that released one of the first home computers. What is the name of this company? Yin. Uh, Apple. The answer is correct. K-Check. And that's it for our second round. Good job, contestants. Silipin nga natin how you did. Ito yung recap natin. Tie at 10 points, si Yin at si Nick. At tie naman sa negative 10, si Jerome at Ray. Medyo biten at puro 10 ang labanan, pero hindi pa po tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check. Professor Neil, I understand you have a question for Rain. Yang tanong ko, mahilig siya sa pagluluto. Para sa'yo, ano pinaka-iconic na pagkain Pinoy at bakit? Para po sa akin, yung pinaka-iconic na putahin ng mga Pilipino po is adobo. Kasi, ano po, simple lang po siya, pero 
kapag sina, pag kapag sinasabi natin yung word natin, po, Pilipino po agad maaalala natin. And sa atin po talaga siya nanggaling. Okay. Oh, parang pang Miss Universe ang sagot yeah, na yun. Pero ayon kay Doreen Fernandez, isang culinary historian, pag meron ng soy sauce, mas Chinese tradition siya. Okay. So, kadalasan daw sinasabi ng sinigang. Pero hindi ko kinikusyon yung sagot mo. Oh, additional tidbit of information. Kasi maraming iba't ibang versions ng adobo sa buong Pilipinas. Tama. O kaya sinigang. Basta kung meron ng toyo, pumapasok na yung influensyong Chino yan sa ating culinary tradition. Kaya na, Torni, nung gusto niyo, dry o yung masabaw? Mamantika. Mamantika pala. <laughs> masabaw. Parang iba pala yun. Okay. Ito naman, si Prof. Marla naman. Tayo naman po yung magtanungan dahil pareho tayong newbies dito sa K-Check. Kamusta po ang K-Check experience so, so far? So far, nag enjoy ako at marami akong natututunan. Yeah, ako rin po, bilang newbie, no? Very uh, fun itong experience na to na ang dami nating mga tidbits of information na natututunan. Ito ba ang friend friendly ng mga tao dito? Yes. So thank you everyone. <laughs> Again, a points recap. We have Nick and Yin tied at 10 points each. Jerome and Rain at negative 10. So, pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Siyempre dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. And to shake things up a bit, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. So this is it, guys. Good luck. Let's begin. Okay, first question from Prof. Blessy. Smile muna. Relax lang. Okay, usapang Heso Kristo ito. This traditional play is commonly performed during Lent. It portrays the life and passion of Jesus Christ and is based on the popular text of the Passion. What is the name of this traditional play? A. Yin. Uh, sinakulo. A. Sinakulo or Passion Play. B. Ora de Peligro. C. Pagpapako. D. Bernardo Carbio. And E. Panunuluyan. The correct answer is A. Sinakulo. Okay, check. Next question from Prof. Neil. According to the 2020 Census of Population and Housing conducted by the Philippine Statistics Authority, which of the following is the top European ethnicity in the country? A. British B. German C. Spanish B. Swiss E. Swedish Jerome um, C. Spanish uh, The answer is wrong Rain German The answer is wrong Ayon sa 2020 census, ang Pilipinas ay may populasyon ng 108 million, 230,917 ay may foreign ethnicity, 6.0 ay may ethnicidad ng bansa kung saan ang galing ang mga sikat na kumpanyang Europeo tulad ng Neste. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Swiss. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Next, Prof. Marla. Which planet is known as the Red Planet? A. Venus B. Jupiter C. Mars D. Saturn E. Neptune Neil? Um, C. Pop Mars the surface of this planet has an orange reddish color because its soil has iron oxide or rust particles in it. The correct answer is C. Mars. Check. Next question comes from Prof. Let's see. Okay. A music naman. His famous composition Sa Ugoy ng Duyan has been a favorite lullaby across generations. He hails from Angono Rizal and was honored as a national artist for music. 
Who is this famous musician composer? A. Benjamin Santos. B. Lucio San Pedro. C. Ryan Kayabyab. D. Nicanor Abelardo. And E. Bonifacio Abdo. Rain. The answer is wrong. Yin. Abelardo. The answer is wrong. Nick. Letter B. Lucio San Pedro. The answer is Lucio San Pedro. Okay, check. Okay, next question, Prof. Neil. Which of the following is the region in the Philippines that has the lowest incidence of poverty in 2022? A. Calabarzon B. Central Luzon C. Central Visayas D. National Capital Region E. Mimaropa Bagamat ang mukha ng kahirapan ay madalas na pinapakita sa kalungsuran, makikita sa riyong ito ang may pinakamababang incidence of poverty. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, National Capital Region. Next question from Prof. Marla. What is the chemical symbol for gold? A, AU, B, AG, C, PT, D, FE, E, G, D. Rain. A for A. Gold was known and highly valued in prehistoric times. From the Latin aurum for Aurora, the goddess of dawn, the correct answer is A, A, U. Okay, check. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Blessy. Okay. Ayan. What is the common name of the fern Stenochlena palustri? Letter A, Mimosa Pudica. Letter B, Bamboo. <coughs> Letter C, Diliman. Letter D, Nilad. And letter E, Banana. Ang pangalan ng fern na ito ay kinalalagyan ng pinakamalaking national university sa Pilipinas. Ang sagot ay letter C, Diliman. Thank you. Next question from Prof. Neil. According to the 2020 Census of Population and Housing conducted by the Philippine Statistics Authority, which of the following is the most populous indigenous people group in the country? A. Ibanag B. Mandaya C. Manobo D. Sobanen E. Talaandi Sa kabuang bilang ng 9.84 million na bahagi ng IT sa bansa, 758,499 ang populasyon ng pinakamalaking IP group na matatagpuan sa Sambuanga Peninsula. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Subane. Thanks, Prof. Neil. Next, Ms. Marla. What is the term for the process of shedding an exoskeleton in arthropods to accommodate growth? A. Metamorphosis B. Molting C. Shedding E. Exoskeletonism E. Transformation Examples of this process include the shedding of old feathers by birds and the shedding of skin by the snake. The correct answer is B. Molting. Next, Prof. Desi. Okay. Ano ang tawag sa valley fault? na tumatagos mula sa Dingalan hanggang sa mga syudad ng Quezon City, Pasig City, Makati City, Paranaque City, 
Taguig City hanggang sa Laguna at Cavite. Letter A, West Valley Fault. Letter B, West Valley Sin. Letter C, Intensity. Letter D, Valley High. Letter E, Philippine Trench. Nick. Letter A, West Valley Fault. The answer is the West Valley Fault. Okay, check. Kathleen? Sino ang kinikilalang the grand old man of Philippine politics? A. Jose W. Jocno B. Claro M. Recto C. Lorenzo M. Taniada D. Arturo M. Tolentino E. Jose Solueta Matagal siyang nanungkulan bilang senador ng Pilipinas at tumayo bilang isa sa mga haligi ng kilosan laban sa diktaturang Marcos. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Lorenzo M. Tanyada. What is the pH value of a neutral substance? A, 0. B, 7. C, 14. D, 10. E, 8.5. The pH scale is used to specify the acidity or basicity of an aqueous solution. The range goes from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral. Choice B. Alright, so that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Nick. Nick, congratulations Our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 100 points. We'll see you again on Friday as they compete with our other daily winners. Maraming salamat din kay Yin, Jerome, and Rain for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Marla. This is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And I am Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. K -check.